everyone and welcome back to another video we have today something i have been super excited for because a lot of these albums i have just been dying to open but i've mainly just been waiting for them and also like life's been kind of crazy but anyways here we are yes we have a huge 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 did i say huge already huge album haul slash unboxing today's edition is going to be once again a lot of like new releases mainly there's some like ones that's been like it's been released for a while now but i just got it in because i did order all of these albums to my k addy because y'all it is so dangerous having a k addy or korean address i use paceable and literally it is so easy to buy albums from like K-Town for you and just be like, oh my god, it's so cheap because like, you know, the 40% off discount and all that. It's so bad for my wallet. Like, this is dangerous. This is literally what happens. So yeah, anyways, we do have a lot of albums here today that I am super excited to open. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it because there is quite a lot, as you can see. Also, quick little notes. I did try to do my nails right before this video because I knew I was going to film today and my nails were blank so I just did them super quickly. I didn't use gel this time. I literally used like regular clear polish and y'all look at how shitty it's literally already coming off like I'm like the worst nail artist ever. I washed my hands once and this happened so yeah I know it's like all ugly and disgusting. It'll probably come off right after this video but just for the sake of the video I did them so yeah ignore the elephant in the room but anyways starting off our first album i guess is gonna be j-hope's jack in the box his solo which i was like super obsessed with i didn't think i was gonna like collect all of like bts's like solo stuff and all that but like it was too good to pass up so yeah and i say album because this is literally just the weavers version I was actually kind of sad that they didn't do like a box, you know, like normal photo book album and whatnot. But this is honestly pretty cute. It's like a little twist to the normal Weavers album. So yeah, anyways, I have both the colors. There's not much to this, obviously. So I guess it's good to just like get it out of the way. And also this has been up for a while, so might as well open it first. So yeah, this is it. <laughs> Literally the world's shortest unboxing. There's literally only cards and stickers in here, and I am really hoping I get all three cards because if I don't, that would be kind of sad, but yeah, anyways. Ooh, here are the two really pretty stickers. Look at this. Oh my god, he... J-Hope is just so good. Like, we've been you, but yeah, oh my god, and Hobie Palooza. That was like such a long time ago already, but like, I watched it live on Hulu. An artist, for sure. So yeah, anyways. I love this like whole jack-in-the-box concept. There's the QR code. All right, and then for the photo cards, these are the two we got. Ooh, they're matte. <gasps> the back is so cool too. So we have this one and then this one. Ooh, I'm guessing the third one has a pink back probably. Yeah, and then this is just like the digital album. Yeah, that's literally it. <laughs> Again, kind of sad, but you know what? At least we got something, I guess. But these photo cards are so cute. I really hope I get the third one. All right, let's open up the pink colored one. Okay, well, I know we're bound to get a dupe anyway, so we got the blue back one again. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. Did I just? No, we got the same ones. Okay, so that means I need to trade for the third one. Awesome possum. Okay, so yeah, we got the same exact cards here's the stickers it's just in pink damn <laughs> i honestly oh wait what am i doing i honestly kind of saw that coming but it's fine you know what there's probably like a billion people wanting to trade like extra jack-in-the-box cards i feel like this has happened to many people so yeah i'm not even gonna worry about that but yeah damn it i was kind of hoping to get the whole set for the sake of this video but you know what still cute and then we're gonna have one extra anyway so yeah that was Jack in the Box. My favorite songs are definitely Equal Sign and Safety Zone. So good. All right, the next album we're going to get into is Yena's solo comeback with Smartphone. Like I said in like my previous album haul, I was very excited for her comeback because I really liked Smiley and 
I just really like the whole theme that she's going with and also like the aesthetics are so cute so I obviously had to get her comeback. I really loved it. And yeah, I did get it from Soundwave this time because they had like an event going on. So I was like, might as well get the extra photo cards. So yes, I believe these are maybe lucky draws, but they're not like PVC. But yeah, here's the first one. Oh my God, that jacket is insane. And then the second one, see, like the aesthetic is so colorful and bright. It suits her so well, it's so cute. Okay, let's go ahead and open this one. I'm not sure which one's the smart and which one's the phone version, but it's fine. Oh, okay. That was like stuck in there for a second. Again, there's a lot of albums in this video and like these albums are kind of like old or older now. You guys have probably seen it if you guys care. So I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but yeah, here we have the photo book. Dude, when these teaser pictures came out, jaw drop in. Literally so cool. Ooh, look at that outfit though. This one's more of like the rugged look, I guess. It's very warm toned. Ooh, look at that hair though. So that was the photo book. All right, oh, okay. This is like a little accordion thingy. Wow. Oh, whoa, it's a lyric accordion thing. And look at the back, it's like a little Windows thing. Again, cute aesthetics. But yeah, smartphone was a bop, obviously. Oh, it's like a folded poster. And then I'm assuming, yeah, all the inclusions are in here. All right, oh, 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 that's a clear card. I got confused for a second, okay. Oh my, what the hell? Do y'all see that? How did this happen? I'm guessing it was like sticking out like this. <gasps> Damn, that is harsh, but we got this film strip, <laughs> which is just absolutely destroyed. Like, bruh, what is this? Okay, and then <gasps> look at these stickers. Oh my God, sure freaking cute. All right, and then a little standee. Oh, there's the CD as well. And then are there three cards? Ooh, okay, so this is like the normal photo card. Oh my god. <laughs> is that her signature? Wait, that's so cute. Ooh, and then we get a holographic holographic photo card. This literally looks like a POB, like from Makestar or something. Look at how reflective that is. And then, ooh, a clear card. Yeah, I'm glad I finally got something like first press because <laughs> I remember for the Smiley album, I literally ordered it so late, so I was kind of sad, but yeah. All right, T, now let's open the other version. This one seems to be a lot more colorful, so I'm excited to open this. Oh my God, look at all those hair accessories. That's so cute. Again, I love like the little details here and there. <gasps> Ooh, to be continued. Game duck. <laughs> Ooh, I think I like this concept better. <gasps> Look at all the stickers and like the hearts and the color scheme. Oh my god, I remember she was like posting different like selfies with different kinds of like flip phones and stuff. That was a moment. Oh my god, look at that crochet outfit. This is so pretty. Uh, all the colors. Damn, look at that outfit. Okay. Yeah, obviously smartphone was a bop. It did give me like smiley vibes a little bit, but I feel like that's kind of like her sound right now. It, def it definitely does suit her, so yeah. Look at this aesthetic. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. So cute. We get another accordion lyric thingy. Look at these pictures. And then we get a folded poster again. Ooh, this outfit. Shark cute. And then now let's move on to the inclusions. Oh my god. A <laughs> little wait, this is like the little like dinosaur from the Google like network issue game. So cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh. Oh wow. Our film strip didn't get destroyed this time. <laughs> oh wait, actually at the bottom kind of, but damn this packaging though. Kind of scary. Okay, we get some more stickers and another sandy. Alright, now for the photo cards. 
<gasps> Ooh, this is the first one. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's like that same outfit as the uh, Lucky Draw. Dang, look at the hair bands. <gasps> oh my God, no way. Another teddy bear photo card to add to the collection? What? Oh my God, y'all already know I'm obsessed with teddy bear or like stuffed animal photo cards. This is so cute. OMG. <gasps> And then we get this clear card, again, in the crochet outfit. Yeah, oh my god, the teddy bear, teddy bear. Teddy bear Yenna slay, okay. All right, nail update, already starting to peel. Moving on, we have Checkmate once again. If you guys missed my unboxing for the normal editions from that crazy Barnes & Noble slash failed Target <laughs> vlog, or in one of my other album hauls, I unboxed the limited edition. You can go ahead and check those out. This one is now for the special edition. Kind of crazy how this is my third video with a Checkmate album and it's a different version. They are going kind of insane, but anyways, we have to get them obviously. I'm actually like kind of happy with this though because this concept again is like definitely more suited for this whole era. So yeah, I'm excited to see what's inside. I know the versions are like A, B, and C, but we're just gonna open them in any, in any order. I'm not a huge fan of like, I don't know what's up with groups doing this recently, but like this whole like paper box packaging, it's just so heartbreaking because like it's so easily like damaged, you know? I mean, I guess it's like better for the environment, questionably, but is it worth it though? I'm just kidding, but yeah, you can see it's like very like delicate, but anyways the packaging it comes with a little like cute sneakers tag it's like a little whatchamacallit like a cloth tag from like a store i guess all right Ooh. so this is like the concept in their music video when they were like in that laboratory or like that space station thingy i don't know what you can call it but yeah okay there's the cd Again, this should have just been like the whole concept. I feel like they maybe might have like taken into consideration people's like criticisms and stuff because they even changed like the digital album cover for it too. So I was like, oh damn, they're really embracing like the more, what's it called, like colorful concept versus the royal concept. And I'm glad that they like, you know, adapt to it. So yeah, hats off to JYP for doing that. But yeah, this is from... The music video, I really like it when they like include inclusions or like photo books from the music video sets. So yeah, this is from that like, what do you even call this? Like an office, I guess? Sneakers worldwide, like a presidential base. I don't even know. <laughs> and then, let's see. Ooh, you get a like folded poster or like a lyric poster. Ooh. See, like, look at this concept. It's so cute, and I feel like it fits the the sneakers concept so much better. Look at that. So colorful. Love that. Again, nothing wrong with the royal concept. I loved the royal concept. It's just for this song, you know? Ooh, is this, like, a normal inclusion? I'm assuming. We got Yuna, so it looks like maybe, like, a normal sticker or, like, a tattoo sticker. Just looks like a normal sticker, but it's like a mini postcard and sticker set. Cute. And then all the photo cards for this are unit cards, which is very interesting. Now, I don't typically collect like unit cards, so I might not collect my bias for this. I'm still debating on that, but yeah, I thought it was interesting. But anyways. Ooh, we got Chaeryoung and Leah's unit card. There's the back. The back is also really cute. Ooh. Okay, that was the first one. All right, this one is the next one we're gonna open. I feel like there should be a place to put this. Like, it kind of just like dangles in the front. Is there like a little holder or like a hole we can put it in? No? Okay, I guess it's just dangling. <laughs> All right, let's open this one up. Ooh, this one's like the more colorful one. Okay, the poster's the same and the CD, I'm assuming. Yeah, this is just like a very miniature version, but oh my God, look at their graphics. Wait, it's so cute. But yeah, y'all, let me just say though, Sneakers has definitely grown on me so much. I actually like really like the song now. I know some people are still like very like iffy about it, but 
y'all it definitely has grown it's actually like so catchy the verses definitely helped in like part of me like liking the song more but yeah it's catchy as hell i don't care what y'all say i love it <laughs> let's just have a little fun you know all right and then oh we got yuna again for this and then for the photo card Ooh, we got leah and yuna there's the back. You know what? These unicards are really cute. But yeah, this is the album that took the biggest hits. It's like kind of dented. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, it's the last version. Ooh, that's what the sneaker looks like. You better put your sneakers on. Ooh, oh, this is like the royal concept. Yeah, again, taking from the, whatchamacallit, the music video. So this is basically like a music video version. That's cool. Like the who says I can't wear Converse with my dress type of vibe. Yeah, this is so stunning. I love all the details. Like, look at that dress. That's actually insane. Ooh, oh my god, all those sneakers. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, again, Chedyoung, such a slayer. This is literally so her era. I don't know if I like showed this or anything but i did get chet young's version as well for the normal album because I, I saw it at target and i was like you know what let me just get it because like love her okay oh my god we got yuna again but this is a different version so i guess that's good me being too lazy to take it out but yeah this is the sticker postcard set i so i guess there's two versions of this then all right and then Ooh, Chaeryoung and Yeji. Wow, again, I guess Ryujin hates me again. But anyways, look at how pretty this is. I like how it like corresponds to the, whatchamacallit, the theme or the concept. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Do y'all see this? Forever one. Oh my goodness, y'all. I am literally so happy that I have this in front of me. We have Girls' Generation Forever One. Oh my god. I really can't believe they had another full group comeback. Oh my goodness. This just made me so happy. It literally made my year. So yeah, anyways, if you guys didn't know, I fucking love Girls' Generation, obviously. I've been loving them since, like, I was a little kid growing up, so... Oh my god. 15 years. That's actually insane. But anyways, we do have both the versions, the deluxe and the standard version. I technically did already open this because I was kind of impatient, so I bought two copies yesterday. I posted it on my story, but yeah, here we have our second copies, technically. So yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and open the standard one. The packaging is so pretty. Or I guess the concept is so pretty. So yeah, I literally like unboxed this myself personally off camera because <laughs> i was just too impatient it's literally been so long since this comeback has happened not so long but like long enough you know right we can do a quick little flip through of course so this is like the first half of the album the whole mr taxi concept i really like how they like um kind of did a little nostalgia nostalgic moments you know this is an ode to mr taxi literally all stunners like are we kidding oh my god they're all so gorgeous all these dresses oh my god Young. Young has definitely like climbed up my bias list my bias is Taeyeon but literally Young is fucking hilarious and she is such a queen oh my goodness also when she performs like oh my goodness love her love all of them so much i've literally just been like digesting a lot of girls generation content recently because they've obviously been promoting and like oh my god it just makes my heart so happy it's like a little like middle part i'm guessing this is like kwangya a part of kwangya but yeah it's so cool this one's like the more like alienistic concept i guess look at that all the colors the outfits it's like a Kwangya party. OMG, I'm obsessed. So, oh my god, and Forever One, so fucking good. Oh my goodness, that song just makes me like, it literally is just, it's just a huge serotonin boost. Like literally, oh my god, every time I listen to it, just seeing them all perform, bitch. 
so emotional. I get, I literally get emotional every time I listen to the song. Oh my god. So pretty. Okay, so for my first copies, I pulled Hyoyeon for the standard one, and then I pulled Sohyun for the deluxe. So kind of hoping for no dupes because I'm low-key thinking about collecting the whole group for this comeback. So yeah, no dupes would be great. Is this a... Oh yeah, it's random member. Ooh, you got Taeyeon for the poster. This is so cool. Look at those like antlers though. And then the postcard. Ooh, we got Miss Tiffany. Oh my God, I like the different colored microphones. Such a moment. All right, and then, oh, this is like a little ad. And then for the photo card. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> So we pulled Hyoyeon again. I mean, again, nothing against her. Love her. Our deep, 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 deep queen. But, bruh. <laughs> we pulled a dupe. Okay. It's okay. Not a big deal. But look at this, though. Look at that headpiece. That's insane. Like, all the little details. It's just so cool. But yeah, we got Hyoyeon. All right. Now we have the deluxe version apparently this version has been like super high in demand and sm is like understocking it like right now it's like sold out everywhere apparently so yeah i'm glad i was able to secure you know a copy for myself but yeah look at how cool this is like literally this whole like amusement park map thing so freaking cool oh my god just all the details Let's go ahead and flip through it. This one's a vertical photo book, which I like better. Oh my goodness. So yeah, these basically have like the same pictures, almost like similar, except for the last part, which is like very nostalgic. So yeah, again, this is like the Mr. Taxi concept, literally models. Like, are we kidding? Okay, and this is like the Kwangya party. So colorful, so pretty. And then this concept, this takes me back, y'all. This literally, I for, is this supposed to be for like Genie or G? I feel like it's kind of like a mix of both, kind of. It kind of gives me both Genie and G vibes, or G me, if you will. <laughs> but yeah, oh my goodness, they're so pretty. Uh, I literally love them so much. I've been a stan since ages ago. Literally, like, one of the first groups I've ever listened to in my life, basically, when I was younger. Oh my god, I love them. Ah, I'm just so happy. I literally remember, like, getting the Holiday Night album when it came out fucking, what, like, five years ago? It's just crazy how I'm opening another Girls' Generation album. Like, damn. Oh my god, okay. Anyways, I'm getting too carried away. Should we just, like, sneak in and grab the inclusions? Oh my god, I feel the photo card. Wait. Let's not do that first. Okay, SM ad. Oh yeah, this is like the little sticker sheets. So cute. Great. Ooh. I don't think I, this looks different. <gasps> Ooh, we got Yuri for this little like invitation card, I guess, or like a message card. Yeah, look at how cute this is. Maybe, do the different members have like different covers? I don't remember seeing this. Or maybe I'm just stupid. Ooh, we got Hyoyeon for the, um, what do you even call this? Cosmic Festa ticket or like a bookmark? Look at how cool this is. Oh my god, look at her. A rock star. I know there's, oh, what is this? Oh, I forgot about this. This is like the little lyric pamphlet, I guess. It kind of gives like amusement park map pamphlets. I guess that's the vibe they're going for. Ooh. Again, this full album, so, so good. Okay, this one is the full group selfie card. Look at how cute this card is. All their signatures on the back. I'm so happy they included a group photo card. Like, look at this. Oh my God, my heart is so full. Okay, and then for the normal photo card. Oh, we got Sunny. <gasps> Ooh, oh my God, she's gorgeous. I love this all pink vibe. OMG, she's so pretty. I love her nails too. 
Ah, queen. Okay, I think that's everything. Okay, there's a CD. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Girls generation, bitch. Oh my god. All right, next we have a group that has been the talk of the town. They're literally everywhere. Everyone loves them. New jeans. Ooh la la. So, yes. <laughs> It's kind of insane how many versions of albums that they have. Like, this is kind of insane. But anyways, we do have New Jeans' album. Y'all, I am like obsessed with their music. Their songs are so good. Like I said, like they're the talk of the town. Everyone's been obsessed with their songs. So have I. Like, y'all, this whole like, I guess like late 90s, early 2000s, Y2K sort of like vibe is just so up my alley. You guys, if you guys have been like, a subscriber of my channel y'all already know this is kind of like my aesthetic that i love and like the whole you know like there's like collages stickers blah 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 blah, the different fonts and whatever i always like rave about it for like other groups and other videos so when this group dropped their like teasers and all that i was like it piqued my interest i was like wait this is so cool so fresh so and i've really been liking their music like everyone else obviously so yeah i decided to get their albums um like i said uh having a k at is kind of dangerous because you kind of make irrational <laughs> decisions so i wasn't even planning on doing this but i did get all of the blue book versions so you can see we have the members and the group one. We have the Weavers versions. And then for the back version, I technically didn't get this from K-Town because I decided to get these albums kind of late. So I had to get the back versions from my own local store because these are like obviously like in super high demand and sold out everywhere and also limited edition. Like they never like restock these, I swear. So I managed to snag the blue and the, I mean not blue, what the fuck, the black and the red version. Anyways, let's get into it because this is obviously going to take a while. All right, let's get into the blue book versions first, starting off with the group New Jeans version. Again, they did the whole paper box con not concept, uh, packaging. So like it got smushed in the box, which I'm like so sad about. It's so fragile, but yeah, I'm so excited to finally be opening these. I swear everyone and their moms are unboxing this. I've seen like everyone open this album and I've been like patiently waiting for mine. Oh, oh, what the hell? I've never actually opened this for myself. So, oh, this is like a paper cover. Wait, that kind of is iffy, because, like, how the fuck are you supposed to put this back on? Like, it's just going to be loose. Interesting. <laughs> and then here we have the box. Like, this packaging and, like, aesthetic is so cool. I'm actually obsessed. How the fuck do you... Oh. <laughs> Wait, I'm struggling. Ooh. Just, like, all the little details and stuff. They had a budget for this. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the box open like this so that I can clean it up like more easily. But yeah, we have like all the inclusions here. Ooh, we have this logbook. It kind of looks like a script. Are the staples supposed to be like that? Let's see, what is this? Oh, it's a lyric book. Ooh. Oh, wait, is this like an introduction book or something? I'm confused. Wait, this literally looks like a magazine. Look at that, they have little receipts. Ooh, wait, this is so cool. There's like info about them. There's like little like, whatchamacallit, commercials or advertisements. Ooh, like look at this aesthetic. So cool. Phoning. Ooh. Wait. Oh my god, this is like IKEA. <gasps> Whoa. It's like a magazine almost. That's so cool. So that's like the log book. We have a pinup book. Is this the photo book I'm assuming maybe? Yeah, this oh, this is not centered. I mean y'all have probably seen this a thousand times anyway, so I guess I'll just flip through it quickly. Yeah. Oh, this looks like Santa Monica almost. 
where we have the photo book. Everything's so colorful. But yeah, literally, I remember when like I saw the New Jeans attention video pop up on my subscription box because um, obviously I'm subscribed to Hype and like I saw it and I was like, I didn't like think much of it at first because I honestly thought it was just like another like <laughs> survival show or like some project or something because you know how like companies are always like dropping videos about that. So I just like ignore it. But yeah, I remember like later I like went back to it because people were talking about it and I was like, this is so interesting how like they basically released the songs super early. But yeah, all the songs are so freaking good. Like everyone else, I'm obsessed with like attention and hype boy. Hype boy especially. That song is like so good and so catchy. Love it. What is this? Oh, it's like stickers. Ooh. Oh, it's like a papery feeling. New jeans are not blue. Yeah, I remember when the name first came out also, I was like, very interesting. But now New Jeans sounds like cool, you know? So, these are like posters. Oh, they're all upside down. All right. Now let's get into these inclusions. First, we have the CD. Look at this, this cute little envelope. Ooh, the CD is also super cute. It's like hand drawn. Right, and then we have this. Oh, phoning. I heard this was like a messaging app or something, kind of like Bubble or whatever. Ooh, that's cool. It's like little phones. It's like a random inclusion, but look at the aesthetics though. All right, and then we have the photo cards. They are honestly like hella generous with this because they gave like a full set, which is kind of insane. Like, I feel like other companies should take notes because like, this is what we're talking about when it comes to like inclusions. That's a little envelope. Oh wait, the photo card texture is like different. It's like papery almost. But yeah, we have Minji, we have Honey. Oh, and they like drew the bags. That's so cool. Danielle, heading, heading. And then, ooh, this ID card, Team New Jeans. But yeah, a whole set of photo cards. All right, I'm just doing it in a random order now for the other members, but first we have Minji's. Also, I don't really have a bias yet, so that's probably why like, I got all of the versions anyways. What the heck? Oh, the Comka sticker. What the heck? Why is it so, like, high up? I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly because this video is getting a little too long. <laughs> too many member version things. I'm assuming these are the same, these like photos, yeah, okay. And then we have the CD again. I'm assuming this is the same as well, yeah. And then we have, I'm assuming her stickers? Yes, okay, so we have Minji's sticker thing. Everyone loves new jeans. Right, and then again, another photo card set. Are there like 10 or five cards? So this is Minji's set. These cards are so pretty. Do they have like, oh, they have like different like messages on the back. And then here's her ID card. Next we have Heading's version and then the album. I really liked Heading's voice when I first heard Hype Boy, like, 
when she started off the song and then the chorus oh shit okay all of them are really talented though like i remember i saw this video of them like singing live bruh the vocals Also, this I really like this hairstyle from the music video, like the like the dyed hair look. The color of the hair was so pretty. Everything else is like the same, except for the photo cards. Ooh. This is heading sets. And all these cards are like, so like different from each other, you know? It's not just like, you know how like photo cards are like similar or like sets, you know? They're all like from different like photo shoots or different like scenes and stuff. I really like a nice variety of cards. Y'all already know this. This is her ID. All right, next up we have Danielle's. I literally have to go through these quicker. <laughs> Time is running out. Oh my God, look at how like damaged this is. This is actually kind of crazy. Shoot, I totally forgot that each member's like CD is like different. My bad. <laughs> the way I realized that right now, whoops. Okay, but that's Danielle CD. Oh, and the sticker. Oh my God, I'm literally the worst unboxer ever. I just think I didn't show headings, my bad. Here's Danielle's stickers. And then for the photo cards. Ooh. Ooh, look at this look though, the fur coats. Wait, is this a selfie? This looks like a concept photo. Do you, you know what I mean? Like, it looks so, like, professionally taken. And then this is the last card. And then the ID. Alright, now we have Haynes hey version. I really wish they made this, like, a sleeve at least. So you can just, like, slide it. You know what? Maybe this is the vibe they're going for. The whole distressed vibe <laughs> DIY distressed album Let me show the other things this time. <laughs> Let me be a proper unboxer. All right, this is the CD. And then we have her stickers. This bunny though is so cute. I love how they use that for the album art. The bunny's so cute. All right, and then the photo cards. Ooh, this makeup look though. I also like how the backs are like different. These photo cards are so cute. And then her ID. Literally, I'm gonna have so many photo cards by the end of this. All right, we're down to the last blue book version. We have Honey's. Oh my goodness. This isn't even all of the New Jeans albums. I still have to go through like three, five more copies. Bruh.
this is her CD. And then her stickers. Sorry, I'm not really talking that much. I feel like when I'm opening this many versions of an album, there's not much to talk about. Also, I'm like low-key tired, so yeah. Ooh, hi there. It's so interesting, this like, this material, I don't think I've ever like seen this material used for like photo cards. Kind of makes me scared though, cause like I feel like against water, these are RIP. <laughs> Cause it's so like papery but i guess better for the environment question mark all right now we have the bag version this is actually like so freaking cool i've never seen a group do this before like a literal bag as an album it's kind of crazy so yeah we'll open up the black one first i don't want to destroy this sticker at the top so i'm just gonna open it from the bottom like whoa look at how cool this is a literal bag like that's kind of insane and like everyone has been dying over these so like they're sold out everywhere but yeah i wonder if like people will use this as an actual bag like the strap is pretty small i guess you can like use it as like a handbag like this but like you cannot put this over the shoulder it's so short but even the design is really cool too. Imagine if this was like embroidered. But yeah, okay. Let's look through the inclusions. We got the CD. Okay, that's that same like doodle look. And then, oh, it's like a mini pinup book or photo book. They want to be different. <laughs> it's like a miniature version. Oh, they have like disposable camera shots the film look and like selfies and whatnot that's cool and lyrics all right and then we got another photo card set y'all like i said i'm literally gonna be drowning in photo cards after this haul oh my god this looks like she's in rome did they go to like europe or something Headings, heading, and I guess I'll just stick this back in here. <laughs> this is so small, I wonder, I mean you can fit like a phone and like a lip balm, maybe some like change your wallet. Watch like, imagine Eugene's going on tour, everyone's gonna pull up in these bags. <laughs> All right, and now we have the red version. I mean technically the inclusions are exactly the same, it's literally just the color that's different of the bag so i guess i'll just like open it for the bag just the collector in me wanted like more than one <laughs> yeah there's the inclusions let's take out the strap i guess if you want a different one for an outfit if you're actually going to use this as a bag this is the red one so yeah i don't I obviously don't have the white one that one's like Honestly, is it even worth it getting it at this point? I already have two bags, so. All right, last but not least, we have the Weavers version. Now, this Weavers version is different from all the other Weavers ones that other groups have done. This is literally in a box and there's 10 photo cards. Like, bro, why can't all Weavers versions be like this? Imagine the 17 one being like this. Again, I hope this is a trend that they continue because 10 photo cards is a lot. All right, and I bought three because there's three different photo card sets. So again, I don't know if I will end up pulling all three. I bought these from K-Town for you, so I'm a little hopeful in terms of shuffling, but we shall see. Imagine having to trade this. Though. I feel like that'll be kind of annoying. Oh, it's like a mini like blue book version. That's so cute. Look at how tiny this is. Oh, it's like a little intro card. Here comes new jeans. We're not blue like other jeans. Don't be your typical pair. Don't get all washed out. So that's where they got the name from. What is this? Oh my god, it's like a tiny little lyric book. <laughs> Everything's so tiny. Oh my god, this is so adorable. This is... Why does this kind of look like hellish? New jeans, don't be blue. Otherwise, you'll be like this bunny. Wait, this is so cute. Oh my god, this is so tiny. Okay, 
Oh, I don't know if I should show this code, but I guess that's the album code. Oh yeah, the little digital code. Y'all can have it, I don't care. Okay, and then here is the photo card set. I don't know if this is photo card set A, B, or C, but we got this one. Oh, okay, it's like actually pretty similar to the other versions of the photo cards. But I mean, if they have like fucking 20 photo cards, it's kind of hard to take 20 different pictures. <laughs> yeah, the heading. That's so generous though, like two cards of each member. Oh, this one's with a stuffed bear uh, and the new jeans bag. Yeah, this is the first set we got. Okay, let me keep this here actually so that we can see our progress. <laughs> Please, K-Town, will you come through? Imagine if they had, had it, like, separated by versions. That would be so convenient. Okay. Oof. Let's see. Well, <laughs> that was a fail. <laughs> okay, so we got the same exact photo card set. All right. <laughs> I swear to God, if we pull all three of the same ones... Bruh. So yeah, I mean, this is, I guess, the only random set that they did. So, I mean, I can't complain too much, right? Okay. Oh, this one's different. Okay, at least we got two different sets. So yeah, thank God, because that would have been kind of sad. All right, so there's the code. Ooh, whoa, look at that mirror photo card, though. Wait, this is so cool. We have honey. Danielle. Everything is just so aesthetic. Heading. And then heading. Yeah, okay, so at least we got two out of three sets. All right, that is it for new jeans. Oh my god, that was quite a journey. This is our photo card stack that we're working with. Literally, like, 80% of this is new jeans. All right, T, last but not least, in this giant haul, we have Ive's latest album, After Like. Let's get into it. I did get all of the versions, all three photo books, and then... All six of the jewel cases. I'll explain later why this happened, but let's start off with the photo books. Again, I don't know which version's like first or something, so I'm just gonna go in like any random order. Also, I got this new blade from Daiso. This thing is so sharp. It's like dangerously sharp. It literally cuts through things so easily. Head on over to your Daiso and get this blade. All right. Now this is definitely the newest release out of all the albums that I have here. So I guess I'll go a little slower since it's like still relatively new. Oh my god, this... Why do they always have such strange packaging? Alright, but yeah, after like, oh my god. Literally, I've just like never misses, y'all. Literally, I'm obsessed with this song. I literally haven't stopped listening to it on repeat. It's so good. Like, I feel like with I've, I'm not like the type of person to love it like first listen right away. I feel like a lot of people are like that, but... For me, I'm like, okay, this song is pretty good. And then like after like, what, like five listens, I become like hooked. Literally, this has happened with me with all their title tracks and their B-sides too. Their B-sides are really good. I just wish that they would release like a mini album or like a full album soon. Apparently, this is like the Starship method where they release like three single albums and like one full album after, so... I hope that's true because we need more Hive music, let's be real here. But yeah, after like, I'm literally obsessed. So freaking good. They're literally monster rookies. Them and Eugene's are killing it. All right, the inclusions now. Is this a random member? Oh no, it's not, but we have a folded poster. Ooh, it's so glossy. Love the outfits. It's, and then, whoa, look at the CD envelope. That's so cool how they added like the hole in the middle. So it's like red. Kind of gives me like vinyl vibes almost. Right. 
Looks like we get a postcard. Ooh, we got um, Yisho's postcard. Oh, I thought this was like a sticker. Oh wait, oh, it is a sticker. Wait, is it? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was a sticker cause like there was like a line, but it's just like glossy in the middle. The way I almost like bent this thing. <laughs> Why am I stupid? Okay, we have Yisho's and then we have a circle card. Why am I getting NCT fl dramatic flashbacks? It looks like a coaster also, but we got rays. I love the outfit though, it's so colorful. All right, and now for the photo card. Ooh, we got Ray for the photo card as well. This is such a cute card. The back is so vibrant. I'm actually so dumb though, because I wasn't about to buy these albums from K-Town for you initially, but I changed my mind super last minute and I literally bought these the day it released. So I literally just missed the pre-order card period like by just like, just like a hair. So I didn't get the pre-order cards unfortunately, which I'm like so mad at myself about because like if I just decided to buy them a day earlier, I could have gotten them, but once again, I'm stupid. Okay, the photo card was right here. So I kind of spoiled it for myself. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, but anyways, now we have this concept. It's like a outdoorsy concept. I'm surprised they didn't make the green version this concept because like everything's so green. Oh my god, for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> this is so dumb, but like I'm getting like Emma Chamberlain vibes from Kyle. Like this bl platinum blonde like short bob hair. I know like Emma Chamberlain doesn't like own this style, but like for some reason... She looks like Emma Chamberlain a little bit. I don't know why. Just radiating Emma Chamberlain <laughs> energy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but anyways. Ooh, the nature vibe is so pretty. Y'all know I like green, greenery, nature -y. It's kind of, literally looks like a drama poster almost. <laughs> it's like a movie poster. I think that was, Oh yeah, wait, that's kind of the vibe they're going for though. Like in the music video, like they like showed the cameras and stuff. I'm guessing that's the vibe they're going for, which is pretty cool. Oh my God, the music video though, the budget, like e they each had like their own sets and like the professional cameras and the fireworks, literally insane. But yeah, oh my God, the song is so good. I feel like the cover being like this would be so cute too, instead of just the blue. I don't know. All right, let's see the poster. Oh, this one's a map poster. We're having a little picnic vibe. All right, we have the CD. The blue is so pretty. The circle card. Ooh, we got Wan Young's. If only they had made this like photo card size, you know, like the NCT ones, I could have put this in my binder. Look at the pink highlights though. All right, and then the postcard. Oh, we got a dupe. We got Isha's postcard again. And then for the photo card, I already saw it, but we got Isha again. We are very Isha blessed, clearly. This photo card is so pretty though. The strawberry kind of matches the vibes, doesn't it? All right, last but not least, we have the bright green concept. I mean, version. All right, oh my God, this green is so bright. <laughs> Oh, this one's like the, like the colorful concept. Ooh. This kind of gives me like the music video vibes. Look at that pink though, it's so pretty. But yeah, literally this song. Oh yeah, it's like their corresponding color with like the music video. Wait, Carl is literally, this is so her era though. Like it was kind of sad when like her verse wasn't until like a minute and like and a half in to the song, but yo, she ate her moment up though. Like she took her, that opportunity. But yeah, and then we have the green with Ray. But yeah, literally the song is so addicting. Literally the only thing that plays in my mind is, you who and I is more than like. We have one in with the red. All the colors are so vibrant blue and Isha with the yellow yeah 
That was the green concept. All right, and then we have the poster. Ooh. Again, it's a very glossy. And then here's the CD again. I'm not gonna take it. Oh wait, <gasps> the green is so cool. Wait, actually I'm gonna take it out. Ooh, I don't know why. The center being like transparent green looks really cool. We have the postcard. Ooh, we got Ray's postcard this time. And then for the coaster thing, we got Liz. Again, the blue is so cool. Clearly blue is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> All right, and then for the photo card. Ooh, we got Esau's photo card. Again, the yellow is so vibrant. All right, lastly, to end this video, once again, we have all six versions of the jewel case. Now, I wasn't planning on getting all six versions, obviously. I typically would have just gotten my two biases, Yujin and Wanyoung, like I did for Love Dive. But if I had bought this from like a K-pop store in the US, each jewel case would have been like $17 pre-tax. And so if I bought two, it, it would have been like almost $40, right? Including tax. And on K-Town For You, the whole entire set was $40. So I was like, I guess might as well get the whole thing. <laughs> now, obviously, like it doesn't include shipping like the K-Town ones, but like since I combined all the albums together, the shipping was pretty split. So yeah, anyways, that's how this happens. <laughs> Yeah, see, this is what I mean, again, by like having a K Addy is just so dangerous. It leads to very irrational decisions. But yeah, let's quickly go through the jewel cases. My sworn enemy, the jewel case. Starting off with Eugens. This one's like a very yellow vibe. It's so pretty. Imagine if they like put the corresponding like colors for the music video. I feel like that would have been so cool. I guess I'm collecting OT6 for them, this then, since I have all six. All right, oh wait, the photo card. Uh, quickly flip through this. It kind of gives me B-movie vibes. Because <laughs> the black and yellow. Why did I say B-movie? Anyways. Very short and sweet. Okay, I thought the member was going to be on the back for some reason. Okay, we got this like folded poster. Ooh, we got cars. Look at that sparkly jersey though. Dolce and & Gabbana. And then for the photo card. Ooh, we got Eugens. Wait, are we gonna get the corresponding members or did I just get lucky? Cool, we got Eugens, yay. All right, next we have Wan Young's. I saw someone on TikTok unbox these jewel cases and they cut it like along this line, which I feel like is kind of genius, you know, cause like there's a line already here. I love Wan Young's like highlights though. They're so pretty. All right, CD. All right, let's look through this very tiny photo book, as expected for our, a jewel case. Oh yeah, I just skipped one. The hair, I'm obsessed. And then I'm assuming this group photo is the same too. For the fold out poster, we got Ray's. And then for the photo card, ooh, we got Liz's photo card. So yeah, I guess they are random, but yeah, we got Liz. I guess I'm just praying for no dupes. Yeah, oh my god, look at her like accessories and the nails. It's like blue aesthetic, love it. All right, now we have these. Open her jewel case. Okay, I'm like low-key seeing the photo card. I don't see who it is, but just from like the picture, it looks different or like the colors. So I guess that's good. This is hers. Ooh, wait, is that like New York in the back? <laughs> I feel like on a yacht in New York for the main poster. Ooh, we got Wan Young's this time. And then for the photo card. Ooh, we got Isha's. Yay, three, four, six. Nice. I like the like little like touches, the colors. Next we have Isha's jewel case. And let's look through hers real quick. I'm excited for hopefully the full album is coming next because like y'all these these single albums come on now and then 
Ooh, we got Eugene's mini poster. Wow. I don't want to jinx it, but like, no dupes. For the photo card. <gasps> we got cars. Okay, four for six. Four for six. She's so pretty. Oh, pff, did not mean to do that. <laughs> All right, now we have Kara's jewel case. The way like everything's the same, but I'm like showing everything in detail. <laughs> All right, let's look through her four photos. <laughs> Again, the Emma Chamberlain. <laughs> I'm sorry I keep saying that, but literally it's giving me Emma Chamberlain vibe. <laughs> It's not in a bad way. I freaking love Emma Chamberlain. So yeah. Okay. Okay, we got our first dupe for the poster. Hopefully we don't get the same energy for the photo card. Let's see. <gasps> we got Ray's photo card. Wait, we didn't get hers yet, right? Okay, no, we didn't. <gasps> Wait, all we need is Wan Young and then we get the full set. Wan Young, are you gonna come through? All right, last but not least, to wrap up this whole video, we have Liz's jewel case. Flip through hers. The ponytail, though, it's so sassy. Okay, work. She is using that arm. Okay, model. All right, moment of truth. Okay, this is a dupe poster. Let's see, the final photo card. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn, we were so close though. Wait, five out of six is not bad at all. Like the fact that these are like completely random too. Wow, okay. So I guess I'll have to trade this Yujin for Wan Young. But yeah, oh my God, literally five out of six. That's pretty insane. That's like actually insane. But yeah, anyways, that concludes this entire video. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just gonna end the video on this shot of all the photo cards we have. <laughs> Courtesy of New Jeans because they have so many. But yeah, anyways, that concludes this very long, very huge album unboxing slash haul video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys stuck to the end, Thank you so much, you a real one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. Subscribe down below for, for that. oh my god. Subscribe for more videos, wait, what? Subscribe down below for, oh my. If you enjoyed this video, sub, what? Subscribe down below for more videos like this. Okay, I don't know why that took forever to say. I see it in every video. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Good boy. Oh, last update on the nails. They pretty much just got destroyed. <laughs> Fuck Sally Hansen. I'm just kidding. But yeah, bye.